Alrighty guys, welcome back. Okay, so in this video, we're finally going to start talking about CSS3. What is it? How is it different than regular CSS? And we'll use our background, either color or image as an example. So for background image, we get it, or for background color, this is one way of doing it. We could just add style equals background color, and we'll set it to blue. Close that out. We'll save that. We'll see how it looks. Obviously, I was already playing with the green. And that's the blue. That looks pretty old school. That looks like a website you'd see maybe 10, 15, maybe even 20 years ago. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and look up a cool blue background color. So I'm going to go to Google, type in blue background image, just like that. Okay. And we got to just make sure the image is big enough. Maybe like, okay, that's pretty big. What do you guys think of this? Eh. 24 by 640. Kind of like this. Let's go with this. We'll click on this. View original image. It should be big. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this image. Save it to my desktop and we'll just call it bg.jpg. Okay. Let's close this down. Let's find this image. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in my images folder. Is this my images folder? Yeah. Before I go any further, I'm going to go back to my body style and get this blue color out of there. Okay, so the question you're probably asking, how do we get our background image onto our website? Glad you asked. What we need to do is we need to go to our CSS file and track down body. So what do we call this? It's images bg.jpg. Okay, so what we're going to do is check down CSS. should be right here. Scroll up to the top. And body. Okay, so I want this to apply to everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and type background image and we need to source in the correct URL and it's in images we named it bg.jpg was a J did we use an E in there? we did not jpeg okay let's save it see what it looks like Okay, great. Sort of. Okay, so now is where I'm going to add some CSS. I can't, I kind of contradicted myself in this video because I'm not on a 27 inch monitor. I'm on a 13 inch monitor. But if I was on a 27 inch monitor and I grabbed the window right here and I stretched it all the way out, we wouldn't see this anymore. We would just see the white because the image is only like, what was it, 1200 by like a thousand or something. It would be. Okay, so we want to definitely go no repeat. So let's add some more CSS. Let's go back to our right here. Let's type in background repeat. Nope. No repeat. Let's look at it now. Okay, great. So all this white space right here, this is just like extra dead weight from the browser. This isn't part of the image. How do I make this image spread all the way across this page? You know, this is kind of a bad example because this image is only kind of on the left-hand side. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add CSS3 anyways. We're going to set this image up. So I guess this is part of the image. So this should be all the way to the right-hand side. The way we do that is a new CSS3 property, if I could minimize this and it's called background size and we're going to set it to 100 percent and in html5 we use a lot more percentages than we do pixels because when it's 100 percent that means if it's on a browser or on an iphone because 950 pixels on a browser is going to be a lot different than 950 pixels on a 13 inch monitor so that's why we set it to percentage 
and save it. Let's reload it. And you see how this stays with me now? And it, I mean, it's gonna, you kinda gonna give up some resolution. It's gonna stretch out, but at least you're not gonna have a ton of white space over on the side right here. And keep in mind, we used a horrible image for this example, but when we did not have background size set to 100%, this resolution was way over here. So just imagine that this whole image right here covered all the way to the right, and it didn't matter how big or small we kept the browser, see how it maintains the ratio? Well, that was our first CSS3 property, and now we have a background image. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not. I guess we'll keep it, it's kinda of funky, but um, for your own website, don't use this image, grab a better image, um, grab one that takes up a little bit more majority of the screen, even though I'm on a 13 inch monitor. But um, that's it, all right, CSS3, background size. Good luck guys, I'll see you in the next video.